Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use list view in Android. So the first thing that we are going to do is add list view in our layout. Okay. So currently I have no other elements. So I'm just going to show list view by default in app. Okay. So open your activity underscore main XMO, go to text more and here just type in list view then choose first value as match parent which is for width and for height wrap content okay the next thing to do here is choose id okay and here i'm going to use at the plus id equals to let's say list view one Okay, now the next thing, save it and check the design. It will refresh and show you some default values. Okay, now we're going to fill all these values out. Okay, with the help of one array. And for that, we have to edit our main activity Java. Okay, but prior to that, we have to do one thing, which is, let me just, okay. Now that I have managed my list view, next thing is inside main activity Java, we will add few things such as our string, which is going to be list array. So go with string and then call it a list array and for this array what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use item size 1, 2, 3, then 4 and then 5 okay so these are 5 our list items here and after that go to your app project then resource and then layout here we are going to add one XML file so right click on this folder then select new and then choose file you can also choose XML and layout file You can name your layout. Let's say I want to name list view. Let's name it list view row. Okay, so this is list view row. Row tag is linear layout, which you can remove if you want. Okay, so just click on finish and it will create that file. Okay, and as you can see, it is linear layout here, which you have to replace with your text view. Okay, so you don't have to add anything special here, just need to add one ID, Android ID, and here plus ID, and here I'm gonna type in list score style okay when I use match parent you can use height for wrap content okay and you can also choose the padding if you want so let's go ahead and choose padding and 16 dp okay now that our file is created we will go back to main activity java okay now here what i want to do is i simply want to use array adapter okay and then type in 
adapter equals to new array adapter and here let's just use a string and then for method as this then r layout dot here we have our list view row and then I'm gonna use my list array so what we did is for our array adapter I'm going to point out my text view and this array so that it will try to arrange that string array on text view here okay so now the next part comes to link our list view with our array content for that we will simply use list view m list view add the class here alt enter will add that then equals to list view and then find view by id r id dot you have to find your list view that's it so we have found our instance of list view next thing is to use mlist view dot set adapter and point our adapter instance to it okay so pretty much everything is done all we have to do is just run the app and it will show us the available array options okay now I'm gonna open emulator and execute the code okay so the app instance is loaded and as you can see the option from our list array are listed as our list view here okay we didn't use any toast action otherwise selecting any option should have created toast message for that like one it's selected two three or anything like that so you get the idea that how to use that list view inside your app instance okay so this was a short video on how to use list view in android